Hi, my name is Laura Doran and I am a kindergarten teacher. It's my first time ever teaching kindergarten and of course um, very new to me because I am doing it remotely and I know that many people have seen what schools look like inside. Um, maybe not as many obviously now with um, the way schools have to be but what I know people have not seen is what a virtual classroom looks like. So I wanted to share mine um, with the board in hopes to give you a better understanding. And if you ever wanna come and take a tour, I would love to have you. So um, we're gonna go ahead and take a look in my classroom. So each day um, my students access my Google Classroom and I post one slide and they open it and it looks like this every day. Um, to get to me, all they have to do is click on my face so there's no codes that need to be entered and um, my kindergartners are very independent at doing this now. Um, each morning we say good morning to one another. We spend about a half an hour doing that, I would say, close to that. Um, actually, first thing when they come to me, the very first thing that we do is we dance. So um, at nine o'clock when I open up the classroom, this song is going and we are singing and dancing. And by the time that song ends, everybody is here. And I've had really great attendance. Um, everyone is showing up. Um, of course, I'm not going to lie. There are sometimes internet issues on my side as well with sound, maybe sounding funny, but for the most part, I think it's gone very, very well. Um, but we say good morning each day. And then we go into our morning learning um, in the traditional classroom. It would be like a calendar activity. This is what it looks like virtually. Um, I play a song um, while I'm taking attendance um, and they're writing their names in kindergarten. We practice one capital and all the rest lowercase. They've gotten very good at that. In fact, sometimes now during the song, they're writing their name, someone else's name, maybe some snap words or a message. So it's very exciting to see them grow even in our short time together. Then of course we start with our um, reading a couple sentences about what our where our country is and our state. We listen to our national anthem every day, and they all we also say the pledge of allegiance with the very sweetest little mouse. I won't play it for you right now, but that this is what we do each day. Every day also we work on our letters and our sounds. We're also learning how to sign them. Um, I feel like that's gotten really gotten their attention. I have faces in my screens. They're looking. Um, they're really growing. Um, but that's something we do every day. And um, Mabel is the character that helps us with the Lucy Calkins program. So she helps us with that singing as well. We also do a lot of rhyme um, and syllable work. We do this every day. It's very important for these kids to build their um, routines. And so it's something we do over and over and over again. And they've also very much improved upon their rhyming and some of those pre-reading skills, as I will explain later. Um, we also talk about our days of the uh, days of the week, our months of the years, and we sing, we sing those out. And of course, we talk about calendar and how that works. And, and each day we move the calendar um, around to what day we're learning on. We will talk about, you know, today is Monday, um, we talk about yesterday and tomorrow, all things that we would do in a traditional classroom as well. Um, on any holiday, I have a fun little links that I can find of videos to teach a little bit more that they seem to really enjoy. We didn't have any birthdays in January, but um, we do sometimes have, um, when we have a birthday, we make a big deal of that. And we even sing in Polish, as my um, former students know as well. Um, we count the days, which is what we do in all early elementary classrooms. Right now, our, my, I've been working with this group for 44 days. So we're counting our days together rather than our entire school year. But we talk about place value. Um, that comes into play with 10 frame as well. We use tally marks to count the days as well as really taking a look at how many days we've been together. This is a great visual. And we also do a lot of work with our hundreds chart. Um, speaking of math, we do a lot with subitizing. For those who are un might be unfamiliar with what subitizing is, it's be being able to see a number quickly um, without having to count it. So each day we do a little bit of adding um, where I will ask them to show me with their fingers or on a whiteboard, how many, how many, show me, show me. And what I'm, what I'm looking for is that they'll subitize probably six and then go seven, eight, nine um, to get it a little bit more quickly. So again, building those routines and doing those every single day really helps build their math skills. Um, the other thing we do every single day is we write our letters um, to, um, to practice doing them the right way. Now I can't see exactly how they're doing them, but um, I'm using virtual stuff 
to my advantage. I'm telling them, get your stuffed animals, set them next to you. Now really show them how we start at the top to the bottom. And we really work on how we form those letters as we're writing them. And um, now we're mixing them in with snap words as well as they learn to write more and more words. Since this morning routine has a lot of sitting, of course, then we take a little break where we can actually stand and move our bodies. And we have one leader who is chosen to pick our song where we kind of move around. From there, we go into our social emotional learning every single day. Um, and all of my curriculum is housed over here in my little bin. So social emotional learning is here. And when you open it, um, I've made all these slides from our second steps program. So I've tweaked them a little bit to make them more user friendly for virtual. Obviously I'm not using the second steps puppets because I didn't get them, but I like using the two elephants that help me teach throughout the day. Mabel from our phonics, from our Lucy Hawkins. Um, this is Ava who I just, have who's helping me with math. But this week, um, we've been working on emotion management. Um, we've been talking specifically this week about how to handle waiting and different skills that we can use. We talk about scenarios. We play games that have to do with waiting. Um, we read books on waiting, sing songs on this. We've talked about belly breathing and calming down. And, and this is something that, so we do one slide each day. So that was what last week looked like. Um, and then from there, we also do a lot of work um, in our classroom. We have some paperwork and I share my screen, my document camera where we write together. We become meteorologists and we graph the weather together. So this again is very traditional. Um, I got it from one of your amazing kindergarten teachers, um, Mrs. Lawley shared this with me. So that's something that we do every single day as well. And then um, in Wall Lake with the Lucy Calkins program, what's very nice is that we have teachers they, that have videos that we're able to use, little mini lessons so that we're not having to do them ourselves. So we have the teacher um, doing the mini lesson and then we can build upon that and really cater it to our students, which is nice. Um, in keeping with that format, I've begun, um, or I tape my math mini lessons. So they're seeing my beginning. And um, what I really like about that is I share the screen with them and they see me and I'm watching them. So in the video, my Ava is asking them, you know, maybe write down a seven, show me in your screen. And they're all holding it up, you know, and I'm able to really quickly assess who knows what what I need to do next. So that really has been amazing academically. Um, in science, we have been doing, um, for our path, we've been doing the mystery Doug science or mystery science. Um, all of that, of course, had to be put into a user-friendly name. So I've created these slides, um, but we do experiments and we do a lot of things that um, you would do in regular school as well. And I'm, I'm really liking the mystery science as well, but again, something that we've had to put together um, every day. And I've been able to do a lot of things um, in my virtual classroom that I did in my um, regular classroom. So for example, I still have mystery readers. My parents or grandparents or siblings have all read stories and not all of them, but many of them have read stories and sent them to me. And each week we get to hear from a mystery reader and I leave some clues and then I get to play a video of that person's loved one reading a story, which I think they really, really like. Um, I traditionally in my old classroom did Thoughtful Thursdays. And for the for the purpose of this slide, I covered up um, the person's address here, but we always lift someone up in need. Last week we did Miss um, Carrie, who just recently had a mastectomy. And so we talk about, and I don't go into the details of that. What I said to the children was, you know, she has cancer, she's sick and she's having a surgery. We're hoping she's gonna get better. We want her to be strong. Um, and I'll send you the link um, to my projects if you want to see what this one looked like. I sometimes give them, you know, things that she likes. And so I might give them some ideas on how to draw some things. If they wanted to do that, they could. They take a video of themselves wishing her well and a link here to our Flipgrid. Um, and then I take those videos and turn them into a video for Carrie, which she got to see and very much appreciated. So um, that's kind of what our day looks like. In the afternoon, um, in our afternoon learning, what I really have appreciated in remote learning, oh, our read aloud that we do every day. Um, we have some quiet time, notebook time um, in the afternoon as well. But what I really have enjoyed doing is each week I meet with 
my children one-on-one specifically. Obviously, I'm meeting with some many more times than that one-on-one or in small groups as needed. But I have a time scheduled every day for every one of my students in here. Um, And what happens is they come to me and I'm able to read with them, assess them. I know I have my notes right in front of me, so I know what they did last week, what they're doing this week. And I've really documented some amazing growth. I have um, students who came to me with hardly knowing any letters, who know most, if not all, and all sounds right now. I have some readers who are reading well above, there goes my dog, well above a end of year first grade in kindergarten. Um, I'm still fine pointing that, but we're working more on comprehension skills. So this um, schedule allows me to do that. So another thing that I wanted to share was maybe you were wondering, what are my kids doing? So while I'm meeting with those students, um, everyone else is off screen and they're doing different choice work. So I'm going to my choice board just to kind of show you how this, what I've done here. So they have different things they can do in reading, phonics and math. And I kind of, we went over this very in the beginning, I've got sound bars, but these are just different fun things that they can do. Um, We have, when I'm practicing with them, for example, there's when we're working on snap words they can practice reading these words and if they get to a word that they don't know and i'm not with them they can play this sound button and it's my voice um, reading the word to them so they can practice it that way Um, same thing we have some fun wheels this is how we take attendance every day this wheel leads to the names in our class but they can practice again reading their words um, their sounds iding their number Um, in this way. So this is just another thing that we can do. Um, And also, um, each one of my children, now that I've been able to assess them and give them all the DRA, I know exactly what their levels are, what their needs are. And so while I'm meeting with other children one-on-one, they have assignments that they have to do. So um, for example, um, they'll come in here, they'll click on this picture of me, and then I go through um, what I want them to do for that day. And I, and I say what it is they're going to be working on. And then there's a link to a book that they have to read. Some, some people are going to have more than one book. Um, this leads to either like the Epic site. Um, I found books on different places. It's all places I've had to find. I haven't found one site that is great for everything. This is, um, and then a lot of them have a quiz at the end so they can practice comprehension as well. Um, But that's what that looks like. So while they're doing their choice work, um, I'm meeting with them each and every day. They're still going to their FAPES every day. um, And I explain when that is and send out little reminders. We have everyday math links, flip grids to tell me what they're learning about. Oh, and I have a project each week. I mentioned I'm not really a kindergarten teacher. Uh, Last week we were talking about Dr. King. Well, the last couple of weeks we've been talking a lot about him. And so we made, little I have a dream clouds with their dream. So if they click on this, they'll have a video um, instructions of me showing them how to make the craft if they choose to, um, as well as some other links and how they can share that with me. So I really just wanted to share because I feel like, um, and I also provide extra print act print activities. There's a lot of things hidden in my classroom for the kids, our word walls behind here, so they can see, um, if they ever needed to access those types of things. I have a lot of math things under our hundreds chart, um, different songs for counting by fives, tens, et cetera. This is our second step song is here. Alphabet work is here. All of our birthdays, um, when it's their birthday, we go into here and there's a lot of different fun things to do. But I guess what I I really wanted to share is um, that this all takes a lot of time Um, every week. Um, I am teaching from nine to four with an hour prep, um, you know, while my kids are at FAPES. And then I am making videos and slides and um, spending a lot of time. In kindergarten, I have supply pickups every two weeks. So I am making copies and then bagging up all of those copies and then driving them to two separate schools for people to pick up. And um, it's a lot. And I feel I've uh, been sick this weekend, which is funny because we don't go anywhere and my kids are remote as well. But I'm kind of under the um, 
I'm thinking it might be exhaustion because I do spend a lot of time on this as I hope um, this video illustrated. And I'm wondering if we could consider um, maybe giving my kids again, they're growing so much academically. And if you could give us maybe even a little bit more prep time, um, I know Huron Valley gives a day off for their teachers and by day off, I mean a work day. Cause as you can see, I work till eight o'clock on Thursday of last week, I was wor working until midnight um, on my Thoughtful Thursday videos. Now I know these, some of the things that I do aren't things that have to be done. However, I think it's good for the kids and I know your teachers do the same. We do what needs to be, do, be done for our kids. So I'm wondering if you would consider that um, adding an asynchronous day like Huron Valley has um, for things like our IEPs, professional development, um, planning. I've done a lot of, um, I've helped a lot of coworkers and they've helped me. Um, and again, just putting these supplies together, making the copies, doing the drops. This is all so much, I've never worked harder. I've been teaching for 23 years and I've never worked harder um, than I have this year. So, um, Hopefully you'll consider that. But again, if you ever wanna come into my classroom, take a look around, um, I'd love to show you more. I'm really proud of what I've done and what my coworkers are doing. Um, and I'm very thankful as a parent because again, my kids are learning remotely and they're doing outstanding. So kudos to them, but I thought you might wanna see this. So have a great day and think about what I said, bye.